Hi, I'm Shri. Welcome to my channel. This is going to be a unique video where I figure out how to charge my Tesla while living in an apartment on the third floor. I got my Tesla about a few months ago. Until now, I had been using Tesla supercharger at Gary to charge my car. It's about a mile from my apartment and I usually go about once a week and it takes less than half an hour to charge to 80%. Recently my neighbors moved out. Their parking spot is directly below my balcony. So I got this wild idea. If I ran a cable through my balcony all the way to the parking spot on the ground floor, I'll be able to charge my car and I wouldn't have to go to Tesla supercharger. One disadvantage of supercharging station is I always went after 11 p.m. So that way I would get the best rates for charging. But so with this approach, it's very convenient and I don't have to go to the supercharging station at 11 p.m. So one thing I want to be clear before we get started, this method is unusual potentially dangerous and it might not be permitted in many situations. Always check with your building management before attempting something like this. So before I got this idea, I didn't even have a Tesla charger at home. Then I realized if I'm going on road trips, it would be nice to have a home charger where I can take to Airbnbs to charge my car. While there are superchargers everywhere, it's just convenient to charge it at home and not go to a supercharger station especially after a long drive. Before I tried this approach, I wanted to know the length of cable I might need to run it from my third floor balcony to the parking space on the ground floor. So I found out that with Google Earth, you can estimate the height of the building. Using that information, I found out that if I have a cable, which is about 40 feet in length, that should be plenty enough to run it from my apartment balcony to the parking space. This is uh, Google Earth. And if I put my cursor on the ground, uh, you can see on the bottom right it is at uh, 78 meters and uh, the balcony is at 84 meters so 84 minus 78 or if you if I, if I put it here 74 it's 83 so 9 meters so convert meters to feet it comes to around roughly about uh, 30 to 32 feet to have some extra length so i got the i think 40 fit fits perfectly in this situation so i got this extension cord from electron which is compatible with tesla it adds about 20 feet to tesla's home charger now tesla's home charger is already 20 feet with electron adding another 20 feet it adds up to 40 feet and that's what i need to run a cable from my third floor balcony all the way to the parking space so my car has been charging overnight and it's almost uh, close to the 80%. So I'm going to go down to the uh, parking space on the ground floor and unplug the charger. Then I'm going to pull up the charger back into the apartment. So here it is, it has been charging all night and you can see the cable go all the way to the third floor balcony. Time to unlock the charge port and unplug the charger. I click on stop charging and then unlock charge port. Until I click unlock charge port, the charger is firmly attached to the car and cannot be removed by anyone. Now I am going to remove the charger. Then I am going to drop it here. Now I am going to run back to my apartment and pull up the charger. Oh, somebody left uh, two protein bars. I'm gonna try them. Can't say more protein. Oi, 
Come inside. So here I am on the third floor balcony and I'm going to start pulling up the charging cable. That's it. So this is how the cable looks when it's all um, pulled up. It is about uh, 40 feet of uh, charger cable. 20 feet from um, Tesla's charger, 20 feet from Electron's extension charger. Electron's cable is like pretty thick when compared to Tesla's one. You can see on the left you have Electron, on the right you have uh, Tesla's charger. You can see the thickness and also uh, there's morning dew and I don't have to worry about all of that because this is pretty solid and uh, the solution is working for me for now and i have connected this to 110 volts it pulls about 117 volts and 12 amperes of uh, current and this cable goes all the way down there i'm going to now show how i'm going to drop this 40 foot of charging cable down from my third floor apartment uh, balcony all the way to the street There you go. I usually let this go all the way down there and it fits in nicely. But I'm going to pull it up because the charging is almost done. And this is how it looks. The charging speed when connected to the 110 volt standard outlet is the slowest but I don't have a long commute and this works for my uh, use cases. This has been a great solution for me allowing me to conveniently charge my Tesla at home despite leaving several floors up in an apartment building. Is it perfect? No. But is it a good workaround for those who live in the apartment with electric cars? Absolutely. I don't think this is a long term solution for me because the parking space below my apartment is a two car parking space and it goes for about $400. For me it's not worth to get that parking space. So right now it is empty so I'm going to charge as long as they allow me to and once somebody takes up that parking space I'm going to go back to supercharger and charge it from there. When I leave the car for overnight charging for 12 hours I get about 15 kilowatts. That works totally fine for my needs and I just have to charge it a couple of times a week overnight. So the advantage of this is I no longer have to go to a supercharger station and I can reduce the cost of charging by scheduling the charging interval. So anytime between midnight and 9 a.m. But the challenges of this mode of charging is the building management may not be happy with the way I'm charging my car and living in San Francisco somebody might steal that cable. So I'm going to continue charging as long as they allow me and once that window is gone i'm going to go back to supercharger or find an apartment which has an ev charging station let me know in comments if you tried something like this or if you have any other solutions for ev charging in apartments as always don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and share it with your friends hit that subscribe button for more content like this i'll see you in my next video